you're enjoying your summer. I'm enjoying mine so far. I've done a lot of activities and I have a lot of plans for other activities. There'll be more videos coming up. Can't complain, the weather's been cooperating. Been some uh, windy times, but other than that, I've done pretty damn good. Obviously, I got some colorful things happening. This is something new that I'm trying. These are uh, cooling sleeves or uh, protective sleeves. I'm trying them out today for the first time. And uh, I'm wearing these because, you know, I'm getting a little bit more conscientious about uh, being out in the sun. You know, you, you really have to protect yourself. Uh, hence the sun hat, you know, the sun hat is something that I started wearing in recent years. Sunglasses all the time, all the time. I have, uh, my, my eyes were very sensitive growing up, so I always wear sunglasses. But I've added to my sun arsenal is these sleeves, these compression cooling sleeves. And uh, I really don't know how to explain it, but when you put them on, you actually get a cooling sensation. It's, it's really strange, I don't know. So today's outing, uh, we, the plan today, I'm fishing, right? If I'm on the water, I'll be fishing, that's a given. But really today, I'm planning to uh, go pick a few blueberries and if we have enough blueberries or if time permits and I'm pretty sure it will we're going to make a little lunch something real quick and simple and it's going to be a blueberry bannock and we're going to try uh, cooking it in a bush pot. Generally, when I do my bannock, it's either uh, right on a rock on the side of a fire pit, right on a rock, or uh, on a frying pan. But today I brought a bush pot and we're gonna attempt to uh, make it in a bush pot. Big girl. So folks, today's arsenal. So one knife. We're gonna have a bush pot. Our bannock mix. Go through that a little bit later. Up so we can go collect some uh, blueberries. Mind you, we could do it in the bush pot, but we're gonna mix our, our bannock in the bush pot. And the other item is uh, a twig stove. So first things first, let's go and uh, collect a few blueberries. There's not a lot of them. I'm guessing the birds have been at it, been uh, picking away at the berries, but there's enough here that uh, we can certainly have a bannock, uh, blueberry bannock. So let's go do that. I'm gonna get set up inside this fire pit to try to shield my stove from the wind. I got my pile of uh, twigs here and my pot's gonna go on top there. So let's load this guy up and uh, get this fire going. 
Let's get this thing happening. I gotta go find some uh, some birch bark to get it happening. And get a few coals going inside this stove while we mix our bannock mix. We have to work on utensils because we don't have any. So let's make a little stir stick. I'm not gonna make everything that's in here. There's a lot here. And uh, today I'm using uh, 12 grain is my, can you see me all right there? 12 grain flour is what I'm using. And obviously, uh, as it's called, it identifies what it is, 12 grains, right? It's currently my uh, favorite. Oh, she's a hot one today what I'll do is at the end of the video I'll put uh, the ingredients my bannock ingredient okay so I'll throw some blueberries in here you guys can see that no let's throw some blueberries in there oh there's a green one let's get rid of the green one There we go. We'll give it a squirt of water. Not too much, a little bit at a time. Give that a gentle stir. Don't want to stir too hard because these are uh, these blueberries. Obviously, I just picked them, so they're gonna squish if if you overdo it. So you want to basically more like roll your bannock than than mix. The other alternative would be. Uh, freeze dried berries then you can be a little bit more rough with your bannock mix okay I got somewhat of a cookie made here it's actually looking pretty good just the way it is oh yeah yeah actually the uh my water to uh, bannock ratio was uh, pretty spot on. I'll give it just a little touch of flour in the bottom. I want to dry it up just a little bit more. Just drop that back in there. That's a nice little patty right there. I'm gonna try to sponge up some more of my flour mix.
There we go. Get rid of the last little bit. Now I'm doing this very crude. There's no uh, no oil or margarine or anything. Let's get our twig stove going a little bit more. Now you don't want this too hot. I'm gonna bring the. I'm gonna tip that down. Hang on, guys. There's my bannock, my little cookie down in there. My twig's still going happening again. As you can see, I got an ample supply here because twig stoves, if you uh, want to use a twig stove, you need a lot of twigs. Anybody, anybody out there, who uses twig stoves, you know what I mean. You gotta keep a good supply on hand. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on just to capture some of the heat. I'm just gonna make a small cookie just as a demonstration for you guys today. It's coming along. The leftover blueberries, well, not complicated. Oh yeah. I tell you, if you've never had a wild blueberries, I feel bad for you. bit too hot you can I can hear it sizzle oh we're getting there let me get you in closer As you can see, it was uh, pretty simple here. Bannock mix, wild blueberries, a little bit of water. No oil, no butter, no nothing. Obviously all those things can add to it, but uh, I'm just here doing it down and dirty, real crude. Oh, this looks like it's ready. Use my lid as a plate. So quite simply put the lid on, and drop it. firmness is uh, absolutely perfect let's break it open see what the inside looks like oh yeah look at that
little bit hot, but uh, let me give you another shot of this. The only thing that would make this better right now would be a drizzle of maple syrup. But that's fine. The, the purpose today was to come out here, do a bannock bread, and just show how really simple, really easy it is to just make a bannock bread. Quite honestly, it took me... The length of time it took me to get my branches together and mess around with the camera and, and try to not be in the sun for, and, you know, try to get a, a proper camera angle. That took like 10 times more time than it did to actually make this bread. And uh, Misty's eyeballing me. Come here, Misty. Come here. You want some? Yeah, you can have some. Good girl. Guys, I'm going to hit the water and uh, go do some fishing, do some paddling, get out of this sun, get in the wind a little bit, get cooled off. Thanks for joining me. And uh, if you are into Bannock, it's, it's limitless what the Bannocks are out there. But if you have a favorite recipe that you feel that I should be trying out, put it down below because I like to try new stuff. And I would like to see what you like to do. Till next time, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.